Woke up in the morning and I step outside. I take a deep breath. And I get real high. And I scream at the top of my lungs. I say, hey, what's going on? Hey, cows! Whoa! What's going on? Hey, I made you hay. It's in the barn. I said, hey, what's going on? Good morning, everybody. Mike from Kellerman Point Farm. How's it going, everybody? Today is a blustery day down here in the valley. It's snowing. First snow of the season. I don't want to say year because it's November. And my six year old called me out on it. He says, Daddy, it's November. It's not the first of the year. You're right. And if my six year old says that, I'm sure all you older people are like, it's not the first of the year. Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. John and I built this shelter here for the cows to get underneath, and it was windy and it blew over. So, what I'm going to do is fix this up real quick because we're going to get some blustery wind throughout the day. Um, pretty sure the cows had a hand in this, messing it up. Oh, there we go. Making you sick? It's so shaky. It's so shaky. Yeah, so this is just a temporary shelter comprised of a tarp on two by My phone was even sick of me. <laughs> it shut off. So just fix the temporary shelter. Um, today's Saturday. It's going to be comprised of a few days this video. Uh, probably not going to do too much around here today because um, the only real big thing we got to do is move more hay into the main barn from the other barn and i don't like to move equipment on the weekends just because of the traffic and it makes it a lot harder so we will wait to do that monday and tuesday um wednesday however we're going to do a cattle drive we're going to move these guys cross back over to the over the street and back to the barn and what i'm going to do is uh get a couple more bales of hay but I'm going to put them out in the field and roll them out and the cows can start eating that. What that'll do is a, it's fodder. Well, it's food, it's fodder and the cows are going to stomp it into the ground and hopefully increase the topsoil content. And, uh, hopefully that hay will has, it probably has seeds in it. I know it does because it takes forever to make hay down here, but it will reseed the field naturally and the cows will stomp it in and it'll work out. Uh, we're going to probably put four bales out in the field, um, where the middle fence is, um, to where the road is, we'll put two there and then two on the other side where the turkeys are right now. Um, we're just trying to heal up that field and hopefully increase the grazing on that next year. Um, cause we don't use it for all summer. We just mow it down. So I feel like if we always bring cattle into this field where we are now, which is across the street from the barn, we'll graze them here. We'll put them in this little paddock out here, which is eh, maybe two acres. It may be like maybe an acre and three quarters. I run them up here, let them eat that, and then come back down in this field. And we'll do a rotation just with three fields. Put them back across the street for a while, let them eat that, which we would normally just mow down, and then come back out here. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. So uh, we were talking about putting sunflowers out in this big field and just doing like a sunflower field, pumpkins and all that, which we might do. Um, or we might just graze it, I don't know. Sorry, I gotta turn the water off here. And with that being Saturday, um, other than checking on the animals throughout the day, I think we're good as far as working. And I have nothing else left to say, except, what's going on? I just always get really excited for the first snow of the season. I don't know if it's the changing of the seasons or what, but that first snow, it's always a good snow. It's Saturday. 
and we were going to put up the Christmas tree, but the tree holder on the bottom busted. So, farmer ingenuity, we're going to make a base for the Christmas tree. I don't have a pencil. So we're at three and a half, three and a half. This is a four by four log, by the way, but it's only three and a half. So we want this center as possible. I cut it with my sawzall, um, just because. So what's half of three and a half? For all you mathematicians out there. Yeah, I don't know. You tell me. One and three quarters. Uh, uh, uh. I say, hey, what's going on? Uh, uh, uh. That's about one and three quarters. One and three quarters. Uh, uh, uh. Oop, gotta move it up. Right there. Center. Oh. Oh. Come a bit. So the base of the artificial tree is just shy of one inch. So I'm going to use a spade bit because I don't have a one inch regular uh, drill bit. Hope we got time lapse worked. Yeah, the center as it's going to be, but you know what? It's a 4x4 four four block, and I'm going to put some legs on it. If it doesn't quite sit level, I'm going to shim it. One thing I've learned with having dogs and kids and Christmas trees, if you older, overbuild it, it's for the better because they knock shit down. <laughs> now to add that farmy touch. I wonder if it's better if I flip this thing around. Sunday. Some of you are probably wondering, but some of you probably are not. What do you do with the leftover pumpkins and corn stalks? Guess what? Pigs. Goats eat them too. But the pigs are going to go to town, so we won't have them around as long. And it's going to fatten them up. Big old pigs. Well, it's still Sunday. Um, slight change of <laughs> events. We got dusting of snow right now. Um, took a walk down to see the goats. And they're wet and they're cold and they're shivering. So, I gave Mr. John a call. See if he could help me for about an hour. We are bringing the goats back today. Um... Wouldn't be a problem, but we have the turkeys here, so that's going to be fun when we load them up. Probably just keep the goats in the barn at nighttime on Sunday to load the turkeys. But right now what i got to do is set a line so these goats don't get those beehives. Um, 
Should be interesting. Hey. Yeah, 2.30 Sunday. I think I have a meme for this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yep, yep. And with this snow being so wet and heavy, it's bad for the goats because they have an undercoat of fur. And if that gets wet, they can't warm up. So it's imperative that we get them goats in the barn for tonight. So um, once he gets here, we're going to be hustling up, getting them goats on the trailer just to get them over here in the uh, barn field. They'll figure it out from there. But, uh, yeah, we had a goat die last year because of this. Um, it wasn't as cold, but they still they got wet. Um and cold and they just it's not good and then going over there we i'm glad we took the walk um we had our new dog out there manny he did great but uh you can see they were shivering so um they do have a shelter right now that i makeshift well i, I made the shelter for the other goat that was here um houdini but uh i shown him to go underneath Joni was going underneath so that was good but yeah, we need to get them. Ooh, buddy. Well. Since I'm waiting for John, I got another project to do. Try to ease my mind off of getting them goats in. Um, we don't have a fireplace mantle. And I want to hang stockings. I'm going to build a mantle so we can hang our stockings. Sounds good, right? But once Mr. John gets here, I'm dropping what I'm doing to get them goats. All right. Cut it. It's wet. It was sitting outside. I'm going to try to dry it off because I don't want to bring this in the house. Wet. Well, we got him. And there's Joni. Keep coming. Huh? Right. Come on, goats. Oh, you don't want to get your paws? Yeah, that's what I'm looking there. Don't want to get paws. Come on, Mary. Come on, girls. Come on, Johnny. Larry. Hey. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. She's like, no. I'm eating. Come on, girl. Go on, Larry. Go on, Larry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go on now. They don't like the mud. Come on, baloney. Girl. I can't with you. Come on. Go on. It's definitely going to be different having all the goats and the cows down here with you, everybody. Oh, yeah. Well, they're in their bed, huh? Oh, yeah, the pigs are. Y'all like pea soup? Started with the Holy Trinity, added the garlic, which is the Pope. That's what I'm having. And biscuits. The boys want spaghetti. Well, what a turn of events for this weekend. Started off awesome, and then goes to holy crap, gotta get the goats back. Um, yeah. Thank you, Mr. John, for coming down on a Sunday. Um, getting them goats in there. 
think tomorrow we're gonna get the cows. Um, they'll all be out. All the animals will be on the field now. All the food groups. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try to put up that mantle. I got a cut. Um, just trying to dry it out. Bliss is up at the store getting brackets so I can hang it to the wall. Um, yeah. If I included on this, it'd be great. If not, eh, let's just assume I did it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time.